Hey guys, so I've been uh, been researching some fog lights for my 1200GS and all the fog lights in motorcycle shops uh, online motorcycle shops like Revzilla and, and other places like Turatec they're very very expensive and I couldn't afford it so uh, I had to like try out uh, the LED spotlights lights from Amazon uh, these are the Auto Vivid ones and they are 42 watts and 30 degree spotlights uh, they feel really really good they weigh 1.5 pounds and, and they are 4.5 inch uh, width on the lamp the wire gauge is, seems good for its power consumption and they come with standard bracket uh, the box comes with two lights and a bracket so, I don't know, I think it uh, was a good deal. They have 14 LEDs in them. And their clean lumen output is 3200 lumen. So, I'm gonna try to measure that also as well when I'm done. Uh, so, so, since I'm improvising with these things, I had to find brackets to fit them. And I found these also on Amazon. They have really, really good brackets. Uh, there's like a million way to install it. There's many varieties. Basically, this one goes around this piece, and you can adjust it however you want. And you could also change this angle to be like this angle. So uh, next, I'm gonna check the power consumption of this light. Uh, let me see what I need to do. Okay. I'm gonna power up the light. Uh, this is a. Uh, this is an inline watt meter. Uh, will show me my voltage input and my current draw from the light. Uh, so I'm getting here 15 volts. This pr the light is really really bright. It's really feels really good. Like we have a lot of lighting here, and I can clearly see it super bright. You can't even look at it. Uh, my current draw is three amps. Okay, so my plan is to go on the bottom crash bar, and this is a one inch crash bar. That's a one inch uh, uh, bar, so plan to go like that. And with the brackets, with the bracket that I have, it's not really doable. Just do that. It's got an offset and you shouldn't hit anything. Alright, so I'm continuing to install these fog lights, but I faced a little, little problem with these, with the brackets. I think my crash bar was not thick enough for them, so I can't tighten any more of this, and it's kind of loose. But I found a, I found a really good solution for this, and it's really easy. It won't cost anything. I did it already here on this side. I don't know if you could see it, but I just added a hose clamp inside it on um, on the crash bar and then I tightened this one on it and this is not moving anywhere anymore it's really really tight so this then the light goes on top of it like this so I'm gonna I'm gonna take out the light now and undo this one to make it tighter so then I'll show you what I did So this thing came with the with the rubber rubber piece on the inside. You don't need that one. It slips, it doesn't grab. You see there's like teeth inside. And then we have the clamp here and this one also has some teeth here. So they will grip really really well together. Uh, just need the right clamp to fit in here. And that will do it. And then the nut on top. Now I can put back my light. Uh, but you can see these brackets, just a little modification and you'll make them really, really good. They have tons of adjustability once you're, you're in. So you can see the hose clamp inside, the other clamp. Clamp on the back, hose clamp inside. And then the light. 
and today I rooted my electrical. I just made the harness at home. These are just speaker wires. I figured it's only pulling three amps, so I think it will work out on this side also. And then I made, I added the switch, seven bucks from Amazon. Uh, I don't want to mess with the OEM uh, circuitry, so I'm making my own circuit straight to the battery and a fuse. So this is going straight to here. I'm gonna hook it up to the battery and I'm gonna put a fuse. Uh, yeah, this is coming on really, really nicely. So this is the final. This is the final installation. That's how the lights look like. They look really, really good. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is the lux uh, lux test. This is my lux meter. It's a Konica Minolta lux meter, and this reading reads the brightness logs. Lux. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna place the, my meter like uh, eight, nine feet away from the bike, like that, and like this. And I'm gonna read my my illumination lux with with the fog lights and without the fog lights. Uh, so my my lux illumination without the fog lights is 120 lux. Now I'm gonna turn on the the fog lights. That's uh, that's how it looks like turned on. It's really really bright and. My lux went up to 950 lux. I'm really, really happy with the results. So I have a lot of brightness in front of me now, and, and they look really nice. Right.